Hi, Danny B here. I am not in Tennessee as I usually am today. We're here in the great state of Florida. We're here in Kissimmee, Florida to be specific. Not far from me is the Kissimmee Amtrak station, which also services the Sunrail line. Sunrail is definitely more active. As I pulled in, there was two passing right by that I just barely missed and didn't have a chance to film. We're hanging out here for a little bit though because there should be another southbound and a northbound coming in. We're going to be checking out some of the different kind of trains that you can see passing near Disney World. Now Disney World itself is a great time. We've been here all week having a great time. You can check out the monorails. You can check out the train at Animal Kingdom. You can check out, of course, the Walt Disney Railroad at Magic Kingdom. And here, well, I'm hoping sometime soon, based on the way the signals look, we should have a northbound and a southbound sun rail coming by any moment now. There's also some other trains we'd like to check out. So come along for today's video and we're gonna check out the wonderful trains of Orlando, Florida. On the morning of Wednesday, July 10th, 2024, we're set up off Beaumont Avenue in Kissimmee, Florida, as a northbound Sunrail commuter train makes its way into the Kissimmee Station at 6.20 a.m. for some commuter train action to start the morning. Now one thing that I've found of the Sunrail, they are prompt and on time, and when one goes by, there'll typically be another that passes soon, as only a minute later, the southbound train goes over the crossing on the opposite track. And note, while the first train all sported the traditional Sunrail scheme, the second passenger car in this one is sporting an advertisement for Orlando Health. Now, as nice as the Sunrail may be to get prepared for a day of rail fanning, these two came just in time as, based on the GPS's time, I needed to hit the road for the real target today. I had reached out to a Facebook group called Florida Rail Fans. I told them that I was in town from Tennessee and had a morning off in between Disney to rail fan, so I asked for some advice on places to check out. That's when Matt Schwerin, the Vice President of the Florida Central Railroad, personally reached out and invited me to come film his crew as they prepared to go on a morning run that perhaps turned into more than the crew of Jeff and Eric had ever bargained for on this day. We're set up today by the Dixie Plywood and Lumber Company on All-American Boulevard in Orlando, Florida where Florida Central's rebuilt ex-Canadian National EMD GP9RM sporting the Port Manatee paint scheme is sitting as the crew prepares for their day. Right now, they only need to worry about pulling out of the siding they are in and heading north in this beautiful old school locomotive that was tied down the night before in order to do their assignments. It should be a simple and easy day for them, right? Well, in the railroad world, nothing is ever simple. I didn't capture it on camera, but as the crew had just gone inside the cab of the locomotive, sparks flew from the battery compartment in the front of the locomotive, but all that they knew was that it wouldn't crank up this morning. One of the train crew came up and chatted with me for a moment, explaining that it wouldn't start, which was when I had informed him of what I had seen, to which he seemed shocked as he explained to me that area was where the batteries housed, and I knew then, just as he did, 7063 is going nowhere anytime soon. Upon a further inspection, the crew packed up as they realized that they would have to go back to their small yard along North Rio Grande Avenue and Beardall Street. So that's where I packed up my things and drove to in order to see what they would be using to save the day. Set up at the north end of the yard, I heard the beautiful horn approaching as the crew had fired up Florida Central 7033, another rebuilt ex-Canadian National GP9RM still in that traditional Canadian National scheme as they headed north long hood forward to save the day.
I was able to catch up momentarily to pace them just a little bit along State Highway 441 just before the track split off right from the highway as they were blowing that horn going for the crossing headed back to Dixie Plywood. Now the only problem once they arrived back to Dixie Plywood here was, remember how easy their day was originally going to be, firing up 7063 and just heading north out of the siding? Well, both of their main lines for Dixie Plywood are currently blocked by rolling stock. So guess what this crew gets to do? That's right, they get to hook up to this cut of cars and go through all of the effort taking off the brakes, driving them back to the yard, uncoupling and tying that cut down back at the yard just to come back to where they started their day for a third time. Talk about a hectic morning on the railroad just to get started. I first started filming this crew just before 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time and they were finally preparing to go over the All-American Boulevard crossing to where they actually needed to go today a smidge after 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. An hour and a half delay to their day, all because of something gone wrong in the battery box. And that's all I've got time for today. Thanks for watching today's video on Danny B. Trains. Special thanks to Matt Schwerin, the Vice President of the Florida Central Railway for inviting me personally to come out and film today's actions here on the Florida Central Railway. Unfortunately, 7063 was unable to get going today. So this made for an extra long day for our train crew of Jeff and Eric as they had to travel back to the yard and hop in another locomotive bring it all the way up here clear this track just to head north where they need to go get their work done today so with that that's all i've got for florida rail fanning today we saw some sun rail we watched the florida central railway and of course we've seen some walt disney trains along the way too but until next time we'll see you back in good old tennessee for rail fanning out there and until next time, hope you have a great day. See you on down the line. Bye, guys.